Hey, Salaam, all glorification, honor, and praise is due only unto Yahweh, Baha Simi Awasai, Baha Sim Double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone, along with the bishops and elders who rule and teach the lambs well, and salutations to the elect the Yashara, the Bayashah Dawada, which is the house of David. It starts with the 144,000 and servants the prophets, and it trickles on down to the remainder of the remnant. All right, which consists of men, women, and children, believers who are the friends and helps of the prophets and believe the testimony of the prophets. They too are going to be delivered out of the coming destruction. And uh, that's clearly what's coming to America, all right, aka Babylon the Great. Total and utter destruction, which is going to be complements of the intercontinental ballistic missiles and the chariots of the Lord. I'm Shamar Moth here with a quick headline. Today is uh, Salakia. Tuesday, July the 2nd, okay, 2024, the hopeful year of Jacob's trouble. And you see this is off of the Washington Examiner. And it says, Iranian official warns it will use all means to back Hezbollah. Okay, so things are heating up in, in the so-called Middle East, okay, which the uh, 1948ers, the small hats, you know, they named that area, all right, the, so, uh, the Middle East, I wanted to say so-called, they named that area the Middle East okay to back up their narrative that's not the middle east that's the far uh uh, uh the westernmost point of uh, asia if you really want to get down to it all right which asia is obviously named after a uh, an edomite named uh asiaticus all right but uh not to get too far off topic because this is just a, a world war three update um let me get to a scripture because things are heating up over in that region, okay? And that region is going to be the uh, capital of the kingdom of heaven, all right, which is about to be established, all right, by Yahweh Shai, all right, who is the king of kings and lord of lords, all right? But it's about to be trodden down, man, because the times of the Gentiles is about to be fulfilled, all right? Bear with me just a second. And, you know, obviously, you know, if you're a new believer or if you're a new lamb who's just come into the sheepfold, you know, you're going to hear this scripture a lot because it speaks to the signs of the times. And this is something that, you know, Yahweh Shai himself talked about. He talked about the times we're living in right now, man. All right. No other spiritual record or document on this planet goes in to prophecy. And that's what sets the Holy Bible apart from all these other, you know, again, so-called spiritual records and documents like the book of mormon the pearl of great price that the book of the dead the egyptian book of the dead yeah is not the the god of the dead he's the god of the living man he's the power of the living okay so you israelites man you so-called blacks hispanics and native american indians you need to put your faith and trust into the scriptures man all right and that goes for you speckled birds as well man you israelite foreigners all right prophecy is what sets all right the bible apart from all these other so-called spiritual and religious books, all right? Matthew chapter 24 and verse 6, and ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. And, you know, we're reading about the so-called Israelis, okay, Amalek, going into Lebanon, all right? And we're reading about Iran, okay, which the Iranians, modern-day Iranians, are the, uh, the Persians, according to the Bible, and also the Carmanians, okay? We're hearing about... Iran and Israel and, and uh, uh, escalations taking place man between these two powers and best believe Iran is a superpower in this earth man despite what what the uh, it's like you what the Western uh, 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 media okay tells you okay which again is controlled by Amalek despite what they're telling you Iran is a superpower and they have the backing of Gog man Russia okay so we're hearing about you know, Hezbollah, Hezbollah ramping up attacks on the so-called Israeli state, which if you really want to get down to it, Hezbollah is, is set up, it's a proxy, okay? But, you know, this speaks to Bible prophecy, okay? And you shall hear of wars and rumors of wars, right? You're hearing about North Korea launching missiles on America. You're hearing about Iran, you know, ramping up, all right, uh, 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 and escalating you know, with uh, uh, the Israeli state, 
you know you're hearing about NATO and uh, uh, GOG you know becoming you know uh, uh, becoming more and more um, intense with one another that's not really the right way to say it but the point I'm trying to make is wars and rumors of wars man all right that's all we hearing about China and the US going to war over Taiwan and it goes on and on and on all right and you shall hear of wars and rumors of wars see that you be not troubled for all these things must come to pass but the end is not yet right a few more things got to happen okay before Yahweh Shai returns all right like that karagma that has to be implemented on a global scale that karagma that micro c hip which is the MOTB okay those nukes aren't going to fly those intercontinental ballistic mi missiles all right those intercontinental ballistic missiles aren't going to fly okay until that's uh you know uh a worldwide phenomenon and we're close to that man <laughs> if you can't see that then you know the most i you know clearly you know hates you man and the most i clearly has shut your eyes and the god of this world who is esau edom beginning with his elites the rothschilds the rockefellers etc has blinded has blinded you okay because can you not see everything going digital i mean who really accepts cash anymore these days right they kind of look at you funny when you hand them cash. I still use cash on occasion. And guess what? When I when I hand cash to someone, they kind of look at me funny. <laughs> okay, so if you can't see everything going digital and ultimately going to a microchip. Oh, I just said it. They might take the video down. I don't give a fuck, man. Let YouTube take the video down. All right. You know, if you can't see that, you know, then... Um, once again, man, hey, the Lord don't want even two-thirds of his own people to get this message, man. He don't want two-thirds of his own people to believe in him, all right? That's how cold this truth is, man, you know? And brothers love their people, man. You know, we love our people, but if they, you know, if they reject any how about some outside and the Lord's rejecting them, then who are we to, like, you know, who are we to, like, have a problem with that, right? The Lord's got controversy with Esau, of course. And he's going to destroy Esau. You know, he's going to destroy America. The Israeli state's going to be burnt up. All right, but not forever. And he's going to annihilate the heathen that are over here in America. Okay. But, you know, that's cold, man. You know, the Lord ain't dealing with two-thirds of his own people. All right. And so we, we can't get all emotional and, and bent out of shape, if you will, you know. Because the Lord ain't dealing with two-thirds of Israel right now in America. For nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. All right, there's going to be race wars over here in America, race, riot, uh, race riots, food riots, class warfare. You know, all that's part of, the, uh, part of the end, man. All right. And there shall be famines and pestilences and earthquakes in diverse places. All these are the beginning of sorrows. And I always mention that in my videos through the Spirit. That's where we are right now, in the beginning of sorrows, man. All right, so we're just going to read a little bit of this. I got another precept on deck. But again, this is off the Washington Examiner. It says, Iranian official warns it will use all means to back Hezbollah. All right. An advisor to Iranian Supreme Leader Ali Khamenei said that Tehran could come to Hezbollah's backing if Israel were to launch a preemptive ground invasion into Lebanon. Kamal Karazi, a foreign affairs advisor to the Supreme Leader, told the Financial Times that Iran and its axis of resistance, a title given to the proxy forces the country supports and funds in the Middle East, would come to Hezbollah's defense with all means. Okay? Because, hey, you know, people are sick and tired, man. The nation is sick and tired of you goddamn 1948ers. You know, they're sick and tired of y'all. Y'all are frauds, y'all are bastards who are dwelling in Ashdod right now pursuing the Zechariah 9 and 6. And the nations ain't having y'all shit no more. Okay? It's just where we are on a prophetic timeline. Okay? Everybody's sick and fucking tired of your lies. Okay? Your, 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 your nefarious activities. Your skullduggery. All that, man. Alright? It says, All Lebanese people, Arab countries, and members of the axis of resistance will support Lebanon against Israel, he said, though he added a regional conflict is not in the interest of anyone. 
There would be no Slovakia. There would be a chance of expansion of the war to the whole region in which all countries, including Iran, would become engaged. In that situation, we would have no choice but to support Hezbollah by all means. Karazi added, emphasizing how the limited fighting between Israel and Hezbollah could spiral into a regional war. Well, it's going to spiral into a regional war, and ultimately, this whole planet is going to be engulfed in World War III. Okay, the third woe, which is coming quickly, pursuant to Revelation chapter 11 and verse 14. But the Most High, Yahweh Bahashim Yahushua, and this is the point I was trying to get to. And he's getting ready to shake this earth, man. The scriptures talks about this earth reeling to and fro like a drunkard. Because that's what all these missiles are going to do when they hit their marks, man. It's going to cause this earth to reel to and fro, man, like a drunk man staggering. Okay, you ever seen the drunk? You ever seen, you ever seen Unk at the bar after too much to drink? What's he doing? He's, he's reeling, man. <laughs> that's how the earth's going to be in that day, man. All right, and we close to that day. So, um, let's go to Haggai 2. All right, and this is uh, Haggai 2, and I'm going to start in verse 5. It says, According to the word that I covenanted with you when you came out of Egypt, so my spirit remaineth among you, fear ye not. And we're not supposed to be fearful right now. You know, Yahweh I said, don't be troubled, man. Why? Because we know these things have to come uh, come to pass and take place. All right? All we got to do is keep on believing in the Lord. Keep on believing this word. Keep on teaching it. Right? Keep on prophesying. And there's nothing to fear, man. Except for Yahweh Baha'i Shem Yahweh So it says, Fear ye not, verse 6. For thus saith the Lord Yahweh of hosts. Yet once it is a little while, and I will shake the heavens and the earth and the sea and the dry land. And that's what he's getting ready to do with his third world's war. Again... These scriptures were written, uh, were written it's like you, through the power and spirit of Yahweh Bahashim Yahusha a thousand years ago, but we can apply them to what's getting ready to happen today. Okay? The Lord's going to shake this place, man. All right? And he's going to put fear into the hearts. He's going to strike fear into the hearts of you unbelieving Israelites, man, and to you fucking Edomites. Y'all are about to be scared out here because y'all are proud as fuck. All right? So you, you, you people are about to be afraid, man. Okay? And you dumbass heathens who don't want to go back to your own land and you want to perish over here, you're going to be afraid. All right? Verse 7. Haggai chapter 2 and 7. And I will shake all nations. And the desire of all nations shall come, and I will fill this house with glory, saith the Lord Yahweh of hosts. Right? Because eventually, when again, when the kingdom of heaven is established, you know, all nations are going to flow into it to be taught. All right, to be taught the law, statute, and commandments of the Lord. Because you're going to obey them whether you want to or not. And if you don't, you ain't going to get no rain, man. And we can get other precepts to go into on that. But I just wanted to, you know, hit that point that the Lord is getting ready to shake this damn place, man. And I ran as a key player, again, in end times privacy. Okay, you can read about Iran in Ezekiel 38 chapter. You can read about Iran in 2nd Ezra 15. They come to fuck you people up over here in America. So if you're one of the Lord's people and you have not done so, all right, at this time, you need to repent because the kingdom of heaven is at hand. All right, Lord willing, you was edified through the Spirit. With that, I want to say shalom. I'm going to on to the next video.